Blessed is the man that hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seat of the pestilent. But his will is rather in the law of the Lord, and in his law will he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree which is planted by the streams of the waters, which shall not bring forth its fruit in its season, and its leaves shall not fall, and all things whatsoever he may do shall prosper. Not so are the ungodly, not so, but rather they are like the chaff which the wind doth hurl away from the face of the earth. For this reason shall the ungodly not stand up in judgment, nor sinners in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly shall perish. Why have the heathen raged, and why have people meditated empty things? The kings of the earth were aroused, and the rulers were assembled together against the Lord and against his Christ. Let us break their bonds asunder, and let us cast away their yoke from us. He that dwelleth in the heavens shall laugh them to scorn, and the Lord shall deride them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and in his anger shall he trouble them. But as for me, I was established as king by him, upon Zion his holy mountain, proclaiming the commandment of the Lord. The Lord said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I will give thee the nations for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt herd them with a rod of iron, thou shalt shatter them like a potter's vessels. And now, O ye kings, understand, be instructed, all you that judge the earth. Serve ye the Lord with fear, and rejoice in him with trembling. Lay hold of instruction, lest in any time the Lord be angry, and ye perish from the righteous way. When quickly his wrath be kindled, blessed are all that have put their trust in him. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me, and many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. When I called upon thee, O God, of my righteousness, thou didst hearken unto me, and mine affliction thou hast enlarged me. Have compassion on me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye be slow of heart? Why do ye love vanity, and seek after falsehood? Know also that the Lord hath made wondrous his holy one. The Lord will hearken unto me when I cry unto him. Feel compunction upon your beds for what ye say in your hearts. Sacrifice the sacrifice of righteousness, and hope in the Lord. Many say, Who will show unto us good things? The light of thy countenance, O Lord, hath been signed upon us. Thou hast given gladness to my heart. From the fruit of their wheat, wine, and oil are they multiplied. In peace in the same place I shall lay me down and sleep. For thou, O Lord, alone hast made me to dwell in hope. Unto my words give ear, O Lord, hear my cry. Attend unto the voice of my supplication, O my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, O Lord. In the morning thou shalt hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and thou shalt look upon me, for not a God that willest iniquity are thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful shall the Lord abhor. But as for me, in the multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house. I shall worship toward thy holy temple in fear of thee. O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies, make straight my way before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, and with their tongues have they spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O Lord. And let all them that be glad hope in thee, they shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them. And all shall glory in thee that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous. O Lord, as with the shield of thy good pleasure as thou crowned us. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is troubled greatly. But thou, O Lord, how long? Turn to me again, O Lord. Deliver my soul, save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is none that is mindful of thee, and in Hades who will confess thee. I toiled in my groaning. Every night I will wash my bed with tears while I water my couch. Through wrath is mine eye become troubled. I have grown old among all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye that work vanity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord hath received my prayer. Let all mine enemies be greatly put to shame, and be troubled. Let them be turned back, and speedily be greatly put to shame. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my hope. Save me from them that persecute me, and do thou deliver me. Lest at any time like a lion he seize my soul, when there is none to redeem me, nor to save. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be injustice in my hands, if I have paid back evil to them that rendered evil unto me, then let me fall back empty from mine enemies. Then let the enemy pursue my soul and take it, and let him tread down my life into the earth, and my glory let him bring down into the dust. 
Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, exalt thyself to the furthest boundaries of thine enemies. And arouse thyself, O Lord my God, in the commandment which thou hast enjoined, and a congregation of peoples shall surround thee, and for their sakes return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine innocence within me. Let the wickedness of sinners be ended, and do thou guide the righteous man, O God, that searches out the hearts and reigns. Righteous is my help from God, who saveth them who are upright of heart. God is a judge that is righteous, strong, and forbearing, and inflicteth not wrath every day. Unless ye be converted, his glittering sword shall he furbish. He hath bent his bow, and hath made it ready, and on it he hath made ready the instruments of death. His arrows for them that rage hotly hath he perfected. Behold, he was in travail with unrighteousness, he hath conceived toil, and brought forth iniquity. He opened a pit and dug it, and he shall fall into the hole which he hath made. His toil shall he return upon his own head, and upon his own pate shall the unrighteousness come down. I will give praise unto the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will chant unto the Lord Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth! For thy magnificence is lifted high above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou perfected praise, because of thine enemies, to destroy the enemy and avenger. For I will behold the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast founded. What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, with glory and honor hast thou crowned him, and thou hast set him over the works of thy hands. All things hast thou subjected under his feet, sheep and all oxen, yea, and all the beasts of the field, the birds in the, of the air and the fish of the sea, the things that pass through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Or God in our hope, glory to thee.